It was the first meeting between both parties for the new year following an eventful 2018. The purpose of Friday's meeting was for both parties to consider the options on the table and decide on the way forward. Government had proposed 8% gratuity payment for public officers, with the union countering with the 25%, though with varying payment options. Head of the union and staff associations, Andre Lewis, says it was a short meeting. An official response on their position was sent to government. We informed the government because they didn't we informed the government that um, we will submit to them our official position in writing. And as you would recognize, we have been engaged locked down in a discussion right now. And we have just sorted out and finalized um, our response to the government, which will be sent. So the meeting was very, very, very short. He added that they will soon inform the populace on the way forward. We have a very clear idea of where we are going. Yes, um, and we would... Um, officially communicate those things as we go along. In a prepared statement from government, it declared a deadlock in pension negotiations with public sector trade unions and staff associations. It says that following a meeting, an amicable solution appeared unlikely given the great disparity between proposals by the two parties. Minister Oliver Joseph says the continued insistence on 25% gratuity has left the government with no choice but to declare an impasse. Government declares deadlock in pension negotiation between the Pension Engagement Committee and the Unions and Staff Association. At the continuation of negotiation, the Unions and Staff Association insisted on 25% gratuity for the members. The government side reiterated that 25% is unaffordable, unsustainable, and will breach the Fiscal Responsibility Act. The matter will therefore be sent to the Labor Commissioner for Conciliation. If it is not settled at that time, it can be referred to the Minister of Labor for Mediation. I wish to make it clear that the government is committed to pension restoration and reform that will benefit all state employees. Government says the matter has now been referred to the Labour Commissioner for conciliation. If this fails, the matter will then be referred to the Minister of Labour for mediation. Eugenia Peters, GBN News.